Welcome, gardening comrades. I am G Mama Groves, hard in the garden. Thank you for scrolling through, and I would appreciate your support of my channel by clicking that like button. Look at him, just over here sleep. Well, I need to come over here. And he is sleep like sleep sleep. Bro. This is not my pet. This is one of four cats constantly on my porch. Come on, bro, move it. I got work to do out here. You say it's hot. Go that way. Yeah, go that way, bro. Thank you kindly, because I got to get some stuff over here. I know you was resting real good, but uh, I need to get some of these good uh, runners for my experiment. So. I'm going to get you. Yeah, my camera skills ain't all that, but I got them. It should be enough. Let's go take these and the oh, oh, left one. I ain't need to cut. But hold one time while I weave my way up out of here. <laughs> and here we are back at the hydroponic unit. And my experiment is going to be I already got a cup ready. Uh oh, I'm dripping. And I put some hydrotin in here. Mm hmm. So, what I'm going to do is take my runners that I just collected from outside and put them into the hydrotin. So, I need both my hands for this, and I'll be right, right back. And the only thing I did was make sure there weren't any spiders or any ants on here. And I'm just going to clip the long runners. I'm going to leave a little piece and come back and clip that off later. Just leaving it a little bit of, because it already has root nodules on the bottom so it's ready put one on this side oh i got enough for three okay so let me get this one Should take that off too because it's gonna have to go below the uh, hydrotin there. Okay, well, that one popped out. Do and let's remove this leaf because it won't let them lay down. Do this to Oreo. Hold that for me, will you? Thank you, Tammy. This is my bunny Oreo. He was gifted to me at one years old and now he's four. His adult weight is four pounds. I'm 
Okay, let me know how to get some more. I wound up doing was putting the cauliflower in the back back here and moving the strawberries up so I can watch them and once they root I'll remove these runner uh, pieces there I just needed something to hold on to to get them to hold down into the uh, hydrate in there so Let's grow with this good strawberry plant experiment in the house because that's what I'm doing. It's about to get cold and I don't have enough mulch to mulch my strawberries outside. So I got to try and save some to plant out next season if they don't make it in that tower. And these are the alpine strawberries over here that have flowered, yay, from seed. And they don't produce runners, so I had to go outside and grab some runners off of my porch strawberries. So, let's grow. So, um, that's unfortunate. Those strawberries didn't make it because it got too dry. Yeah water is not wicking up far enough so I'm gonna try it again but on a lighter note my alpines are flowering and it looks like a little strawberry is in there Woohoo! I did one more let's go check on that one uh oh the lights didn't cut off but I'm gonna see if I can see it anyways hold one time this is another piece of a runner that I brought in from outside and I colored it up. It's still looking kind of green in there, so I'm hoping it's rooting. The leaves ain't died off yet. They did droop a little bit, but I'm gonna keep hope alive for them. And these strawberries were planted at the same time as the other ones. And I don't see any flowers yet. So let's grow with the strawberry propagation. I'm out. Peace, love, and happy garden, comrades. Heal thyself. It can be done. I'm out.